Hey. Okay. So I'm switching over my kombucha and I've had a lot of people ask me how I make kombucha and I posted my recipe in the description above, but I wanted to actually like show you what it looks like. And of course Harvey is going to pick now to like be upset. So um, I make kombucha every two weeks. It's like kombucha day and we switch over our kombucha and all that kind of stuff. So what is kombucha? It's like a fermented probiotic tea drink. Sorry if Harvey is loud in the background. <clears throat> so, hang on one second. I'm gonna give Harvey some popcorn. Here you go, Harvey. Here you go, look, right here. Here you go. Here you go, you got it. Okay, so, enjoy my paint swatches, by the way. Um, so basically you start with tea. So right here I have some brewed tea. I actually have another bigger pitcher. Um, another bigger pot that I also use. So you start with tea and you sweeten it with sugar. Oh, Harvey, come here. Look, can you say hello? Can you say hi? Okay, you start with tea and you sweeten it with sugar. Then you add your SCOBY. So that SCOBY is a symbiotic culture a bacterial yeast or something. It's an acronym for something. S-C-O-B-Y. So you put in your SCOBY and it's almost like yogurt in the sense that you start with milk and then you add the bacteria into it, the probiotics into it, and then it like ferments and creates like a probiotic yogurt. So, okay. So you start with tea, you put your stuff in there, and then, hey Donna, and then you uh, it ferments over a course of like two weeks. So after the two weeks is over, then it's time to bottle it. And that's the point I'm at right now. So when you get your SCOBY, I'm just going to show you guys what this looks like. I've already washed my hands, by the way. Um, <laughs> are you looking in there? Okay, so a SCOBY, by the way, it looks really weird. My husband's like, what is that thing? So this is what a SCOBY looks like. This is a few layers of SCOBY that I have. Um, but it's basically sort of looks like a mushroom, if you will. Um, but it's like, it forms a new one every time you make it. So this is what it looks like. It sounds really gross, but you know. Um, so then this leftover is my tea. So I'm going to stir it up and it kind of has a smell. I don't know if you guys have ever had kombucha, but you can see it's starting to fizz up. It creates its own carbonation. It saves me so much money. So, um, Lennon, my middle one that's four, she loves kombucha and like she started drinking mine and then I started having to buy two bottles at a time and it's like two fifty or three dollars a bottle, which like doesn't sound that crazy, but if you're wanting to drink it all the time, it adds up really fast and Harvey likes it. So it ends up being a whole lot more. So anyways, it, it makes a little bit of bubbly on its own, but then it smells kind of vinegary, like sort of beer-like, but it's way milder. Here, you gonna hold that? All right, get down, you can hold that. Okay, so you add fruit juice to flavor it. So I've experimented over time, I have several different ones I use. My favorites are blueberry, and then separately a second one is pineapple, but I have a few different ones I'm gonna show you, and I'm not gonna show you all of them because I have a buttload of kombucha that I make. We now make like four gallons of kombucha. Um, this is bumped up from us making three gallons, but we always seem to run out. So I didn't want to be able, I didn't want to run out between our two weeks time. So I'm going to start with a smaller pitcher. So anyways, you've got your SCOBY. SCOBY, you set it to the side and then you stir it up because you want to get that like yeast and bacteria like all mixed up in there. And then you're going to pour it into your bottle. So I have these swing top bottles I ordered on Amazon. But we're gonna add juice first, so I'm gonna just show you blueberry because that's my favorite one. Hey, JC. So I add a quarter of a cup, and all these measurements are in my blog post. So I add a quarter of a cup of the juice into the bottom of my bottle, like this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pour my kombucha and fill it up. So these bottles, now that you're adding juice to, it not only gives it a flavor, like a fruity flavor, but it also makes it more bubbly. It makes it more fizzy. So 
You can fill it up to about to the shoulders. I fill it up a little bit more, but you gotta wait for all the bubbles to settle. And then you are gonna lock it down. And these sit out on the counter for like three days. And then you're gonna burp them every day. So when you burp them, all that is is like popping the lid off. And you'll notice over the course of a couple of days, it gets like carbonated, like it'll pop and you'll see like a little bit of mist come out when you pop it. Um, I really like making it at home because not only does it save me a whole bunch of money, I think last time I calculated, I made the amount of kombucha that I made was like, I think I told Jared it was like 80 something dollars worth of kombucha that I made at home. And yes, I use like organic juice and I use um, organic tea and stuff like that, but you're making it really for like a fraction of the cost. And it's full of the good bacteria. So the reason people drink kombucha is because it's got probiotics. Hey Angela, probiotics are really good for your digestive system and for all over health if you do like a little Google search of benefits of kombucha. Um, but Lennon, like since she started drinking kombucha, she hasn't had any eczema flare ups, um, which like supposedly a lot of eczema has to do with your gut health and whatever. So um, it tastes really good. It's become my like, afternoon treat drink. I know that sounds weird, but I only drink water and um, I drink water and that's about it. So for me to have this, I have this and my other, I drink Ningxia. It's a different type of health juice. Um, between the two of those, that's like my afternoon treat thing. So JC, it's super easy to make at home. My friend showed me. I think the weirdest thing is getting used to what is normal and having this SCOBY, like trying to figure out, okay, what's normal on this SCOBY and what's not. You can see like, how do you know what's normal and what's not? But it, um, Jair's totally grossed out by it. <laughs> but as long as you handle it with clean hands, you, I mean, it's like pretty easy to do. You just wash your hands before you do anything with the kombucha. And so you're not introducing any like bad bacteria into it. And it continues to make new bacteria off of that. So let it sit on the counter for three weeks. You add in your um, fruit juice in here, and then you're gonna let it ferment three more days on the counter. And then I pop it in our fridge and like, we're good. We make literally like 24 bottles of kombucha and every, every two weeks and we drink it all before it's out. So if you are local to me and you want a SCOBY, um, I can give you one because it makes a new one every time. So if you want a SCOBY and you're local to me, um, just shoot me a message and I will give you one. And I can also give you some starter tea. You also need some. If you're not local to me, um, in my link that I put in the description of this post for the instructions, um, I linked one that you can do on Amazon. You can order it. Um, I drink one full, sometimes two full bottles a day. But if you're just starting out, so... Um, if you've ever taken probiotics before, it's suggested that you like start small because when you introduce the good bacteria into your body, you often flush out a lot of the bad bacteria. Um, so it's recommended to start small. But I used to just do only one bottle of kombucha and now sometimes I do two. Usually Lennon drinks one or she might have a little bit left so I drink like one in a bit. Um, but we love it. We drink it every day and I feel like it really helps my digestive tract and your immune system. Like I think something like 70% of your immune system is based in your gut. Um, so just wanted to show you like this cost effective way to make your own kombucha. So um, that's all I got. I think this is like 12 ounces or 16 ounces. So it's good. But okay, check out my blog post. I think my favorite flavor is this blueberry one. And this is the kind of juice I get for it. It's delicious. And I like pineapple. So, anyways, all right, guys, shoot me a message if you have any questions. But yes, it makes a new SCOBY every time. Every time. So, I have lots of SCOBYs to give out. All right, bye. How do you have enough room to in your refrigerator? <laughs> I have an extra refrigerator in my garage, and it is like literally my um, kombucha refrigerator. FYI. I also have to put a heat pad on my kombucha during the winter time because it gets cold. And so it doesn't always like ferment, like at colder temperatures, it's gonna ferment slower. So I have a heat pad that sets up against all my kombucha bottles and I turn it on like every day. Um, 
to heat up my kombucha. It's like my baby. Um, yes, Mohan, watch it. Make your kombucha. All right, bye.